be accountable for what is going on. You may not be actually setting the pricing or doing all of the deals, but at the end of the day, the pricing leader is responsible for the strategy. So be accountable for what goes on. Be an effective communicator. That means you're going to talk to many different people in many different functions in the company. Some are going to want to listen to you, some are not. Some are going to have a finance background, some are not. So you've got to learn how to talk to many different people. Collaborate. Pricing at the end of the day is an extremely collaborative effort. It's not an effort that you're going to do and go off in a room somewhere and, and just do it by yourself and come up with an answer and go give it to someone and say, this is the, the, the price for that product. Adapting culture takes time. How much time really depends on the company and the amount of support that you get. But in many cases, you know, it's probably going to be six months after you have all of your procedures and processes in place for the company to go through several cycles of using the tools and getting used to using things. In terms of gaining and holding CEO support, set your execution plan with deliverables and timetables. Make it the same as any other plan going on in the company. Here's the pricing plan. Here's what we're trying to achieve. Here are the revenue targets. Here's when we're going to do it. That's what they want to see. The plan needs to include revenue uplift. Having a plan with no revenue upside is like talking about air. I don't know what I'm going to get. I don't know when I'm going to get it. Address process and procedure issues. Pricing needs to be more than a one-time hit. They may bring in a consultant to do analysis and tell you the current health of the company from a pricing perspective, but they want everyday solid pricing practices to be in place. That means you need to address process and procedure, and it needs to be consistent through the company. That's something else CEOs are looking for. Do a monthly readout for your executive team. You want to talk about culture. Get all of your executives, if it's possible, depending on your specific uh, location, get them in one room or at least on one conference call. Get your key leaders once a month for an hour or 90 minutes to go over your key price results. Make your key leaders as accountable as you are, but go over what's happening and get them used to talking about it. Create a forum for the CEO to help you drive good business practices and price. And get a forum for your other executives in the company to talk about what's going on in their specific divisions about price. During this meeting, provide honest assessment of issues affecting progress. CEOs don't like it when you hem and haw about things. They want to know, they want, they want to know what's going on, what's your take on things, what's your plan to fix it. They don't want you to get in there and make a political statement, oh yeah, everything's really pretty good, it'll just take some time, when they know fully that may not be the answer. Maybe there's people that need to be replaced, maybe there's different ways things need to be set up, maybe pricing needs to be in a different department that it's in now, but you've got to be really willing to make some pretty honest assessments and some tough statements at times. Request support where needed, but don't make excuses. I've never seen a CEO that isn't there to support you. They really want to. But you've got to be specific about the support that you want from them, but they don't want to listen to excuses. A CEO is accountable to the shareholders, to the board of directors. They've got a tough job. They've got to make their numbers every quarter. You're there as the pricing leader to help them make those numbers.